Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The linear attenuation coefficient, attenuation coefficient, or narrow beam attenuation coefficient characterizes how easily a volume of material can be penetrated by a beam of light, sound, particles, or other energy or matter. A coefficient value that is large represents a beam becoming attenuated as it passes through a given medium, while a small value represents that the medium had little effect on loss. The derived SI unit of attenuation coefficient is the reciprocal meter M minus one. Extinction coefficient is another term for this quantity, often used in meteorology and climatology. Most commonly, the quantity measures the exponential decay of intensity. That is, the value of downward e-folding distance of the original intensity as the energy of the intensity passes through a unit, e.g. one meter, thickness of material. So that an attenuation coefficient of 1m-1 means that after passing through one meter, the radiation will be reduced by a factor of e. And for material with a coefficient of 2m-1, it will be reduced twice by e or e2. Other measures may use a different factor than e such as the decadic attenuation coefficient below. The broad beam attenuation coefficient counts forward scattered radiation as transmitted rather than attenuated and is more applicable to radiation shielding. The mass attenuation coefficient is the attenuation coefficient normalized by the density of the material. Overview the attenuation coefficient describes the extent to which the radiant flux of a beam is reduced as it passes through a specific material. It is used in the context of X-rays or gamma rays, where it is denoted mu and measured in CM-1, neutrons and nuclear reactors, where it is called macroscopic cross-section, although actually it is not a section dimensionally speaking, denoted sigma and measured in M-1, ultrasound attenuation, where it is denoted alpha and measured in dBCM-1 M hertz-1, acoustics for characterizing particle size distribution, where it is denoted alpha and measured in M minus one. The attenuation coefficient is called the extinction coefficient in the context of solar and infrared radiative transfer in the atmosphere, albeit usually denoted with another symbol. Given the standard use of mu equals cos theta for slant paths, a small attenuation coefficient indicates that the material in question is relatively transparent, while a larger value indicates greater degrees of opacity. The attenuation coefficient is dependent upon the type of material and the energy of the radiation. Generally, for electromagnetic radiation, the higher the energy of the incident photons and the less dense the material in question, the lower the corresponding. Attenuation coefficient will be. Mathematical definitions attenuation coefficient, the attenuation coefficient of a volume, denoted mu, is defined as mu equals minus one phi e d phi e d z, where phi is the radiant flux. Z is the path length of the beam. Note that for an attenuation coefficient which does not vary with Z, this equation is solved along a line from Z equals zero to Z as phi E equals phi E zero E minus mu Z, where phi E zero is the incoming radiation flux at Z equals zero and phi E is the radiation flux at Z. Spectral hemispherical attenuation coefficient, the spectral hemispherical attenuation coefficient in frequency and spectral hemispherical attenuation coefficient in wavelength of a volume, denoted mu nu and mu lambda, respectively, are defined as mu nu equals minus one phi e, nu d phi e, nu d z, mu lambda equals minus one phi e, lambda d phi e, lambda d z, where phi e Nu is the spectral radiant flux in frequency. Phi, lambda, is the spectral radiant flux in wavelength. Directional attenuation coefficient, the directional attenuation coefficient of a volume, denoted mu omega, is defined as mu omega equals minus one L E, omega D L E, omega D Z, where lu omega is the radiance. Spectral directional attenuation coefficient, the spectral directional attenuation coefficient in frequency and spectral directional attenuation coefficient in wavelength of a volume, denoted mu omega, nu and mu omega, lambda respectively, are defined as mu omega, nu equals minus one L E omega, nu D, L E omega, nu D Z, mu omega, lambda equals minus one L E omega, lambda D L E, Omega, lambda dz, where lu omega, 
Nu is the spectral radiance and frequency. Lu, omega, lambda is the spectral radiance and wavelength. Absorption and scattering coefficients when a narrow, collimated beam passes through a volume. The beam will lose intensity due to two processes, absorption and scattering. Absorption indicates energy that is lost from the beam, while scattering indicates light that is redirected in a random direction and hence is no longer in the beam but still present, resulting in diffuse light. The absorption coefficient of a volume denoted mu a and the scattering coefficient of a volume denoted mu s are defined the same way as the attenuation. Coefficient. The attenuation coefficient of a volume is the sum of absorption coefficient and scattering coefficients. Mu equals mu a plus mu s. Mu nu equals mu a. Nu plus mu s nu. Mu lambda equals mu a. Lambda plus mu s. Lambda. Mu omega equals mu a. Omega plus mu s. Omega. Mu omega. Nu equals mu a. Omega. Nu plus mu s. Omega. Nu. Mu omega. Lambda equals mu a. Omega. Lambda plus mu s. Omega. Lambda. Just looking at the narrow beam itself. The two processes cannot be distinguished. However, if a detector is set up to measure beam, leaving in different directions, or conversely using a non-narrow beam, one can measure how much of the lost radiant flux was scattered and how much was absorbed. In this context, the absorption coefficient measures how quickly the beam would lose radiant flux due to the absorption alone, while attenuation coefficient measures the total loss of narrow beam intensity including scattering as well. Narrow beam attenuation coefficient always unambiguously refers to the latter. The attenuation coefficient is at least as large as the absorption coefficient. They are equal in the idealized case of no scattering. Expression in terms of density and cross-section, the absorption coefficient may be expressed in terms of a number density of absorbing centers in and an absorbing cross-section area sigma. For a slab of area A in thickness DZ, the total number of absorbing centers contained is in a dozen. Assuming that DZ is so small that there will be no overlap. Of the cross-section areas, the total area available for absorption will be in a sigma DZ and the fraction of radiation absorbed is then n sigma dozen. The absorption coefficient is thus mu equals n sigma mass attenuation absorption, and scattering coefficients the mass attenuation coefficient, mass absorption coefficient, and mass scattering coefficient are defined as mu rho m, mu rho m, mu s rho m, where rho m is the mass density. Napierian and decadic attenuation coefficients decibels engineering applications often express attenuation in the logarithmic units of decibels, or dB, where 10 dB represents attenuation by a factor of 10. The units for attenuation coefficient are thus dB slash m, or in general, dB per unit distance. Note that in logarithmic units such as dB, the attenuation is a linear function of distance rather than exponential. This has the advantage that the result of multiple attenuation layers can be found by simply adding up the dB loss for each individual passage. However, if intensity is desired, the logarithms must be converted back into linear units by using an exponential, i equals i o 10 minus db slash 10. Napierian attenuation, the decadic attenuation coefficient or decadic narrow beam attenuation coefficient, denoted mu 10, is defined as mu 10 equals mu ln 10. Just as the usual attenuation coefficient measures the number of e-fold reductions that occur over a unit length of material, this coefficient measures how many tenfold reductions occur. A. Decadic coefficient of 1m minus 1 means 1m of material reduces the radiation once by a factor of 10. Mu is sometimes called Napierian attenuation coefficient or Napierian narrow beam attenuation coefficient rather than just simply attenuation coefficient. The terms decadic and Napierian come from the base used for the exponential in the beer. Lambert law for a material sample, in which the two attenuation coefficients take part. T equals E minus integral 0 mu. Z, dz equals 10 minus integral 0 mu 10. Z, dz, where T is the transmittance of the material sample, is the path length of the beam of light through the material sample. In case of uniform attenuation, these relations become T equals E minus mu equals 10 minus mu 10. Cases of non-uniform. 
Attenuation occur in atmospheric science applications and radiation shielding theory, for instance. The Napierian attenuation coefficient and the decadic attenuation coefficient of a material sample are related to the number densities and the amount concentrations of its n attenuating species as mu z equals sigma i equals 1 and mu i z equals sigma i equals 1 and sigma i n i z mu 10 z equals sigma i equals 1 and mu 10 i z equals sigma i equals 1 and epsilon i c i z where sigma i is the attenuation cross-section of the attenuating species i in the material sample. And i is the number density of the attenuating species i in the material sample. Epsilon i is the molar attenuation coefficient of the attenuating species i in the material sample. Ci is the amount concentration of the attenuating species i in the material sample by definition of attenuation cross-section and molar attenuation coefficient. Attenuation cross-section and molar attenuation coefficient are related by epsilon i equals naln 10 sigma i and number density and amount concentration by ci equals nina, where na is the Avogadro constant. The half-value layer, HVL, is the thickness of a layer of material required to reduce the radiant flux of the transmitted radiation to half its incident magnitude. The half-value layer is about 69% ln2 of the penetration depth. Engineers use these equations predict how much shielding thickness is required to attenuate radiation to acceptable or regulatory limits. Attenuation coefficient is also inversely related to mean free path. Moreover, it is very closely related to the attenuation cross-section. Other radiometric coefficients, 